Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. It's the 20th of May, 2022. And this is a series of videos that I'm actually recording for um, sort of tutorials for folks who are building uh, directories in our community. I actually have someone now who's doing these WordPress-based uh, local communities. This one's for a new a community we're building in the summer uh, for Delray Beach, Florida, something I started working on years ago, and then kind of let the domain um, kind of go dormant. We've owned it all along, but decided uh, over the summer to reanimate uh, this particular project only to sell backend services. I'm not really that interested in building these sorts of sites to get lots of, you know, listings or premium, you know, whatever's it my interest is threefold one using sites like this to acquire uh, clients as an online agency two to build online assets that can be sold later on so even if this does terribly uh, it still has value to somebody in this local community any directory that you put up with 100 200 300 listings is going to have value to somebody because it's going to get traffic and somebody in the local community whether it's a real estate agent whether it's a you know um a car dealership a designer a web development company someone's going to be interested in even a failing project when you use the approach that i'm outlining here and lastly i've never done this personally but i know people in my orbit who've done very well at this building these sorts of sites and then actually leasing them out to local entrepreneurs who want actually the gravitas the name cachet and the appearance of authority by dint of owning something that is you know fairly well built developed get some decent search engine traffic even if it's only for hyper local listings like you know it doesn't get a shit ton of traffic but may get you know may rank really really well for the best pizza place joe's pizza best designer best this best that you know uh financial advisor delray beach or miami or wherever it is that you're thinking about building these sorts of sites in that sense can be leased and then you can manage them as an agency in the background and get a nice sort of monthly fee for your consulting your interaction and people generally are reluctant to give them back you know you don't it doesn't have to be a permanent lease it can be somebody's leasing it for three months for six months for 12 months to get traffic for their own concerns etc i'm kind of going on too long about this but that's generally something that people don't want to relinquish once some time has passed because all of these sites accrue more value over time as the search engines get more and more uh attentive and they acquire and the sites inherit more trust and traffic etc cetera, etc cetera. people are you know generally pretty reliable when it comes to um, you know being interested in maintaining their sticky fingers on a site like this if you've leased it to them again not something i've ever done but i have two or three people in my uh, sort of business network who do this very very successfully and it's something that we're considering doing uh, going forward as well even though again final caveat i'm not so interested these days myself in building these directories i am interested in getting clients that we can sell back end services to and to be able um to you know to have other people build them when i'm not really doing anything other than buying the original theme and the domain names etc all right so again we're looking here at hubhood this is a great theme the author of this uh framework is very innovative he's done some very cool things with his previous uh theme which is called listar i believe and he's someone that i've spoken to often on via email for three or four years and having seen this uh you know on theme forest a couple of days ago again i decided to buy this it's the first one of these i've purchased in about a year okay so let's go into where we want to change the the header of the of the page and this one does this a little differently so we're going to actually do a video on this and again i'm going to be doing step-by-step -step videos on all sorts of you know uh, of uh, 
edits on this framework, not for YouTube per se, but for somebody who's going to be working on these sites so they understand exactly what to do. And I figured I would post lots of these in a public way so other folks who are similarly new to the theme or new to WordPress or, you know, directories would know what to do as well. All right. This is the image. You can see the header image behind the, the text. And don't be confused by this. This front page piece here is not the text that's actually showing at the top of the page. It's over here. So you have to actually go down on the right hand side where it says, welcome to discover Del Rey, everything you need to know about living, loving, playing and partying in paradise, right? And then underneath that, there's one extra little bit of custom text that can be injected into the front page. It's the page short introduction. I tried this, again, I'm learning this theme in an extemporaneous way. Um, so, you know, I'm playing with different features that I find. I don't like that. I don't like where it goes and I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna remove that here. And now if you go here and we view the page, you'll see this is the text, this is the tagline, and this is the background image, which of course right now is a cartoon, but I'm gonna change later. All right, here are the front page elements. They're all uh, widgetized, so all this stuff is arranged and uh, sequentially stacked, again, by dint of how you arrange the widgets and which widgets you pick. The blog feature on this theme I really like. I like the styling of it. It's another really, um, you know, it was another compelling reason why I chose this theme for this project. You can see it has this really kind of nice styling with a really cool share functionality. Just has a lot of neat flourishes and touches that most of these other themes, you know, I don't find either provide, present, or that interesting. Same thing with the comments. You can see the comments are styled in a really aesthetically, visually appealing way. And on mobile, this stuff looks really, really great, where 90% ultimately of your traffic is going to emanate from anyway. The drop downs are nice. The search is nice. The back end as an administrator is nice. And, or as a user, this is where you'll add listings, bookmarks, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to do some other. Uh, video walkthroughs of some of the other cool things that you can do uh, in this area, but that's for another video. And, um, you know, if you're interested, you can keep watching. Okie doke. So 